In this video we share Our Lady's prophetic apparitions in Ukraine's history. Ukraine has had a large number of apparitions throughout its history and there are prophecies that will fulfill a prophetic role at the end of time. Father Malachi Martin, a prominent Vatican member, a close confidant of the popes, who claimed to have read the third secret of Fatima, wrote that salvation for the world will begin in Russia, and that this triumph will begin in Ukraine. As we have seen in the apparitions of Fatima, Russia is the regulator of the world's punishment, if Russia is totally converted, the world will be converted, which is why the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary is requested by the Virgin and which is not yet been done. The last major manifestation of the sky in that area was in 2014, when dozens of icons weeped oil in both Ukraine and Russia, in the face of the possibility of a war. But the first supernatural manifestation that tells the story in Ukraine is the one that occurred in San Jacinto in 1240. Faced with the invasion of Kiev by the Tatars, Hyacinth took the cup with the consecrated hosts and began to flee the church. And when he passed a statue of the Virgin Mary, he heard a voice saying to him, Jacinto, my son, why are you leaving me? Take me with you and do not abandon me to enemies. The weight of the statue was miraculously lightened and Jacinto was able to carry it. From there, the Blessed Virgin's predilection for Ukraine became clear. And so it was that Ukraine became the first easternmost country in Europe to be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, around the year 1000. Then Our Lady will appear in the 16th century in the midst of a confrontation, at the time of the Cossack War against the King of Poland, and in a place where a huge willow grew, in Hrushim. And in 1806 a spring of healing water would have sprouted from the root of that same willow, in the face of a cholera epidemic. Which led to an icon being placed on it, becoming a place of pilgrimage. But in 1840 they paid a bandit to cut the willow with an axe and legend has it that after cutting it, bad luck fell on his relatives. And in 1855 a new epidemic appears, and a villager hears a voice telling him that they have suffered terrible evil from the desecration of that sacred willow, but the epidemic would have ceased if the grudge had been fixed. The villagers bought an old wooden chapel and placed it on the willow roots along with the icon, the fountain returned and the cholera epidemic stopped in the blink of an eye. And three mysterious candles that began to burn on the fountain without anyone lighting them, there was a vision of the Virgin and the sound of the bells was heard by no one knows where. Then, on May 12, 1914, the Virgin appeared to 22 peasants. The vision lasted until the next day. She predicted to them the loss of Ukraine's sovereignty for 80 years. She said that for eight decades they will suffer persecution, after which Christianity will have prevailed and Ukraine will be free. Three years later, in 1917, the Bolshevik Revolution took place in Russia, Ukraine would be invaded by the Communists and only eight decades later became independent as prophesied. Seven decades after the 1914 apparition, the Virgin once again appeared to Russia. On April 26, 1987, exactly one year after the Chernobyl disaster. An intense light covered the Church of the Holy Trinity, and the Virgin Mary appeared above the dome. A television program even recorded some of this light phenomenon. The seer who received the messages was a girl named Maria Kizin, but the bright manifestations were seen by everyone in the village. We made a video about this appearance. And in these apparitions messages such as. If there is no return to Christianity in Russia, there will be a third world war and the whole world will have to face ruin. She also said. It is at your direct request and with the blood of the martyrs that the conversion of Russia will take place. This indicates a war between Ukraine and Russia. And he showed a burning field and said. There is no water? The heavens and the earth are on fire. Whoever wants to receive the grace of God prays constantly and assumes voluntary penance. And she also said. The times that have been foretold as the end times are about to come. 
Look at the desolation that surrounds the world, sins, genocide. With which this confrontation is associated with the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary that we saw Malachi Martin predict would begin in Ukraine. While the Ukrainian mystic Joseph Terralia, who spent 20 years in a gulag in Siberia, said around the same time, that unless there is a radical conversion in the world, a great war will break out. And this is because Satan is losing strength. He spoke of a war between the West and the East, of a partnership between Russia, China and Arab countries, which would then be fought. And finally, there was another appearance of Our Lady in Ziblak to two girls, Mariana Kibal, 9, and Alina Kaitsua, 10, starting in 2002. Which would later become an apparition of the Holy Family. They saw the Blessed Virgin Mary by spring and received the message that Ukraine has a special mission from God. Ancient enemies have united in a common force to gather ten earthly kings in battle against the Lord. And he added to them. New miracles will happen here under my protective mantle. I will stay here until all the people of Ukraine unite in one faithful flock, until sin is washed away from my people. This will be a place of spiritual and physical refinement. Remember that you are now living in the times of prophecy. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.